while the search continues for who will direct Marvel Studios' Spider-Man 4, a pair of familiar directors have apparently been in top consideration. This being the people behind Miss Marvel and the cancelled Batgirl. So the pair of directors we are talking about, Bilal Falah and Adil El Arbi. And they were previously set to release Batgirl, which apparently was a pretty decent film from everybody involved. But of course, it was shelved by WB Discovery as a write-off, along with tons of other projects. And well, they were the people in charge of the Disney Plus series, Miss Marvel, which got a lot of buzz internationally. It's one of the most watched Disney Plus shows. And on top of this, they have a very stylized way of directing. Now, of course, these aren't their only projects, as they also landed Bad Boys for Life right after being fired. And by all accounts, um, they seem to know what they're doing, and more people in Hollywood are interested in them. So what we're hearing now is that while they're closing in on a short list of directors, that their names have popped up in the conversation because of how effectively and efficiently they can work, but also the quality and what type of style you want to go for. Now, before you get any crazy ideas that they're going to go in a, hey, Miss Marvel style is injected straight into Spider-Man, they're not only good at doing that type of thing. Uh, I know people tend to believe that a director can only direct one way, they're clearly more talented if you just look at their body of work. Just like, you know, um, a little director called, I don't know, what's his name? James Cameron? Yeah. Yeah, at one point, people refused to give him money to make some of his passion projects because they're like, no, you're only good at doing this thing. And he proved them wrong every time. Whether it was Terminator or Titanic or Avatar or whatever, right? Like, get your mind out of... They can only do one thing because that's the only thing I've seen. And honestly, if you look at their style with Miss Marvel, especially with how they're able to handle a more street level side of things, I think you maybe understand why Marvel Studios might want them. But who knows what they're doing with the next Spider-Man, right? Because, um, I mean, if the rumors are true, Sony is heavily pushing for another multiverse film. And then if we get another multiverse film... Guess what? What they did with Miss Marvel is perfect because they literally dealt with a, uh, well, a different realm, also traveling through time, and also the stylized effects they used everywhere would then work. So it seems like that they might be a good pick for either direction that the film goes in, or even if it's a hybrid. So um, if they land it, I have no complaints personally. I'm pretty sure people are going to have complaints, but... I personally really don't, because I haven't seen anything that they've done that I consider bad. <laughs>